Welcome everyone, all I show to fix your iPod Touch not being recognized by iTunes. So first of all, I want you to unlock your iPod Touch, make sure it's on the home screen, then you plug it into iTunes, right? And the reason why you do this is because when you plug in a brand new computer, you're going to see this message. Trust this computer, because I'm jailbroken, this is a bit glitchy, but for you, you're going to see the same pop-up. You just tap on trust, and then you will need to enter in your passcode if prompted. Give it a little bit, like five seconds or so, and then once that's done, you're going to see this message on iTunes. Do you want to allow this computer to access information? You click on continue, give it a couple of more seconds, and you should see your iPod Touch show up at the top, right, uh, top left right here. Now you can see, Mine isn't showing up, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to restart the iTunes application. So you do this by opening up the task manager, and you can see it's already showing up. But let's say it doesn't show up for you, or you just select iTunes and task manager, end task, and then we just load up the iTunes application. So you saw for me it worked, or if it didn't work for you, then you just close out of iTunes, reload it up, and you can see just like that, welcome to your new iPad. Uh, we just click on continue, I think it's an iPad, I mean iPod, and then we're good to go. Now if this still doesn't work, well, then there's a couple of things you can do. So first of all, make sure iTunes was downloaded from Apple directly and not from the Microsoft Store. So how do you verify this? Well, what you're going to do is you're going to search for Microsoft. You can see Microsoft Store, load that one up. And once this is loaded up, you're going to search up iTunes. And if you have the option to open, you just want to delete this version here. And the reason why is because it doesn't install the Bonjour service. What is the Bonjour service? Is that French? Well, Bonjour is French, but iTunes uh, from Apple directly downloads Bonjour service, which allows your iPod to communicate with a computer. So if you see the option to open here, that means you have, you know, the iTunes from the Microsoft Store. It most likely, well, doesn't download the Bonjour service, so that may cause issues. What you're going to do is you're just going to go to Edge. You just want to download iTunes. So it's usually apple.com forward slash iTunes. And uh, I'll have the download in the description here as well, if you're too lazy. And don't click on Get It From Microsoft on this page. Scroll down until you see Looking For Other Versions, Windows. And then select this one here. And then download iTunes for Windows Now 64-bit. Download this version and you should be good to go. Now, if you already had the uh, version of iTunes downloaded from Apple directly and you're still having issues, what I recommend you do is you uninstall the iTunes application and then reinstall it. Or... What you can do as well is uninstall the Bonjour service manually, then uninstall iTunes, then reinstall iTunes, right? So what we're going to do is we're just going to find uh, where the uninstall option is. Windows 11 changed everything, so I think I just need to search it up. So we'll just search up uninstall, and you can see here, I'm assuming add or remove programs is the one we want to go to. Here it is. So you can see this here, Apple Mobile Device Support, you want to remove this. The Bonjour service, you want to remove this. And you also want to remove iTunes. So you just want to find where iTunes is. I don't know where it is. There we go. iTunes, you just want to delete this one as well. Once you delete this one, restart your computer, re-download iTunes, uh, set it up again, and then restart your computer after that, and then try again, and then that should solve the issue. So with that being said, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Bye-bye.